I'm going to show you how you can convert HTML in Airtable to web pages. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com. So the idea here is we have HTML that is stored as text in Airtable, right? So you see the HTML code right here. And what the tool will give you is it'll give you a formula that will give you a unique URL for each record that you have. Once that URL is opened, it will render the HTML associated with that record. So this entire page that you're seeing is actually coming from this HTML code right here. And part of this is also adding values from that record back into the HTML. So if you see this value, this value, and this value are all coming from here, here, and here. So it's kind of a cool way of, of generating these dynamic web pages for each record. So I'll show you how you would set this up now. So start by filling up your user API key, follow the blue URL to find that, and then choose your base and then choose your table. Then choose the HTML, um, the, the field that will have the HTML code, then click save, and then click on the settings icon, copy the formula, and then go back to your table and add the formula. So I'm gonna say HTML URL, and I will select formula, and I will paste this formula here, and now this field right here will show me the uh, code that I want associated with each record. There you go. So I'm gonna now explain briefly how to use these placeholders that we're doing, where you replace part of the HTML with a cell that exists in the egg table. So let's go with this simple example. That The one we started with was a little bit too complicated because it had images and stuff. So I'm gonna go with a very simple example here. What we have here is we have a formula that has taken this exact text that starts with a bracket, ends with a bracket, and has this in the middle, right? It's taking that and replacing it with the value from the field placeholder one. It's doing the same with two, and it's doing the same with three, and we can do this forever, essentially. Now, if you look at the text in the HTML, you see that this text right here is being replaced with this value right here. Sorry if this is a bit confusing. Um, we wanted to just kind of give an example to show how powerful this extension can be. If you're running into issues on how to set this up, do uh, reach out to us and we'll, we'll figure this out with you.